much does the energy we use each year weigh? Sounds like the wrong kind of question, but let me explain. In 2012, we used 155.5 petawatt hours of oil, gas and electricity. So we could work out the amount of fuel we need to burn to liberate that energy, which is 13.3 billion metric tons of crude oil, roughly 1.9 tons for every person on Earth. But I'm not happy with that. I don't have a pallet of oil sitting outside. I plug stuff in and it works. So what is the weight of the actual energy? Better break out Einstein's equation, E equals mc squared, and rearrange it a little to m equals e over c squared. So we have 155 and a half petawatt hours, or 559 zettajoules. Divide that by the speed of light squared, and we get 6,219 tons of energy traveling through our wires and releasing our engines every year. A small enough amount you could fit it on a single small tanker, and each of us would only need about 0.9 grams, or the same weight as 18 drops of water. So what if we could just convert matter to energy? Well, we'd solve all of our energy needs forever. Imagine a world where a small lump of rock could keep you warm, move you where you need to go, cook your food, power everything you do in your whole life. While it seems unlikely, think of the accomplishments we've made in the last hundred years. We've moved from steam trains to space shuttles, from Morse code telegrams to Twitter, and the mobile phone in your pocket probably has more computing power than all the world's computers in 1960. So, who knows? In 60 years' time, the quantum mobiles of the future might have the same computing power as all the world today. Maybe powered by rock, or water, or belly button flow. How do you think energy production will change in the future? Comment below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. As always, keep thinking.